What's going on everyone? It's Lee here, the rental guy. I'm at the rental shop and this is a sort of end of season vlog, or one of them. I mean, we do a vlog every week, so uh, there could be a few of these. So with the season winding down, we have one tent left. Uh, 20 by 40 this week and then if we don't pick up anything last minute well then that's it that's it for tents for the season bet you're wondering how many tents we did this season let's take a look 64 10 by 10s 39 10 by 20s uh, 18 20 by 30 marquees, 22 20 by 40 marquees, and then uh, 10 20 by 20 marquees go out. So I had five pole tents go out. So let's do something fun, and I'm just going to screenshot this. I'm going to put it into ChatGPT and ask it to make me a graph for you to see what my most profitable tent is. Okay, so I took this already, and I plugged it into ChatGPT, which is that one. And then I asked it to break down a graph that tells the YouTube subscribers how many tents I rented this season, explain what was my most profitable tent style, keep in mind that uh, mids, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, so it shows this graph and it says, the graph shows the tents rented by category for the 2024 season. Here's the breakdown. So pop-up tents were rented the most with 103 rentals generating revenue of $9,603. Marquee tents came in next rented 50 times with a total revenue of 27,000. Pole tents, despite being rented the least 10 times, still managed to bring $8,000 in revenue. So in terms of profitability, marquee tents stand as the most profitable category, generating the highest revenue, though they were rented less often than pop-up tents. So I made it for the YouTube subscribers. These metrics are, um, you know, without anything else, without walls, without weights, you know, without delivery, without all the tables and chairs that go under them and, uh, you know, all the extras. So this is just base revenue and these are all gateway items. So uh, the year was pretty good for tents. So all in all, pop-up tents, marquee pole tents, they're all popular. Uh, I'm really glad that I took the dive and actually got into pole tents this year. And, uh, you know, I kind of got in late, to be honest. So uh, considering that I did five pole tents this year, that's pretty good. Let's go a little deeper. How did pole tents treat me? Pole tent one. So pole tent one, that was the first pole tent we ever did, a 40 by 100, about five hours away. That one was worth $16,910.53. Remember, if it's a gig that you don't want, because we didn't want this one, but, uh, you know, I'm pretty sure everyone else said no. We charged, uh, what, $7,654 for delivery alone on a 40 by 100 tent. Uh, there was also a 30 by 40 there, but, uh, you know, still. It just goes to show that some people uh, need the job, and it doesn't matter what the price is. Are you the person who can get it done? Then, uh, you know, that's how you can make your payday. I uh, don't like going out doing these out of town things because it costs a lot for labor and like, you know, if hiccups come, it gets really stressful. But at the same time, you know, you got to do what you got to do to pay the bills, right? If uh, all my, the rental companies are around me are getting all these corporate gigs and I'm not quite getting them yet, I got to fill it up with something. And that might be high ticket uh, gigs that are a little bit hard to do far away. Okay, so tent two, uh, just outside of town, a 40 by 80 for a wedding with dance floor, lighting, tables, chairs, linens, the whole everything for how much, drum roll? Uh, so that one totaled $9,052. So, um, you know, we can do it all within town, which is really great because then we don't have to pay for all that uh, extra out of town travel. And then if we forget something, we can just double back. And uh, yeah, the tent in town, you know, we actually did have to come back to it. So I got a chance to like film it inside and out and I got pictures at nighttime so that I'm able to like promote these on the website like crazy. So uh, that was a great one for us to have because we got those photos that mean everything. Tent number three. 
the tent number three. This one was great because it was also in town and we're starting to get up, get good at pole tents and I don't need to direct everyone around anymore. So the third one, the staff is starting to know what they're doing. They are pushing the tent pole up. That is the center pole. We have the center pole push tool with the stake. We are not taking any major turns because the major turns will make the grass chew up. Uh, so what we have to do is have them pushing up so that the uh, center pole top does not get caught uh, on any of the other tent pieces. So they Um, I didn't have to be there. They squared it and they started the takedown process. I was there, but I wasn't there for full installs. And it was just the tent and we made $4,489 off of that. So for a 40 by 60 tent, not bad. Oh, shoot, it's a video. <laughs> <laughs> it's a video, oh crap, okay. So tent four is a 40 by 60 and it's three hours away. This was just kind of just far enough that uh, we could get it done in one day. And it was great, except we forgot a wall. And when you forget a wall, then you have to double back. So the only good thing about that was, uh, well, how much it was worth, which was $9,052.39. And uh, the fact that we were able to come back at night and get a few more of those photos so that we could get some video footage for the 40 by 60. So now we've got two tents that we had to return to at night to get footage for the 40 by 80 from the wedding and this 40 by 60. Get a nice, it's not very often we get the night photos. For the website. So. Yeah, $9,052.39 for uh, the full tent setup with, uh, you know, the dance floor, the tables, the chairs, the linens, the lights, blah, blah, blah. You get it. Not bad. Weddings are good for pole tents. Tent five. It's a wedding tent, a 40 by 100. The last one that we did of the season, uh, it was a little bit too far out of town. Once you start getting to that uh, four hour point for out of town, well then it takes you eight hours just of travel in a day and you have to pay lots of overtime. So I suggest you charge a lot more if you're traveling eight hours inside a day. Get a awkward everyone turn around and give an awkward thumbs up. <laughs> Excellent, thank you. So as we're going up, some people will push up. He's probably he's gonna probably use these skid stairs. And some people will pull the tarps out of the way. But uh, this one was great. It had, uh, you know, the dance floor, it had the tent, it had the tables, the chairs, the linens, everything. It was a big job, but we were up for it and we did it. And we got uh, $13,481.12 from it. So um, that's a win. And that is the fifth and final tent of the season. But we're not gonna end there. I'm actually gonna show you something fun with these five metrics on these pole tents that I gave you. So I took the invoices from each one and I plugged them into ChatGPT and I said this message. 
So now that we're doing graphs and specifics, I want to start fresh with pole tent metrics. I'm going to give you the invoices from all five pole tents in the rental season. I want you to break them down into understandable sections, group to show demographics of my pole tent this season, event type revenue, added items to tent, and many more metrics that you can find with the data I gave you so that my YouTube viewers will be able to learn the norms from my company to help gauge their businesses. So you can just make graphs any way you want. It's the metrics overview four weddings, one corporate event, um, you know, tent usage style. So 240 by 60s, 140 by 80, 140 by, or 240 by 100s. Uh, inside larger tents, we're in more demand for high budget events. While smaller tents like 40 by 60s were commonly used for weddings. Uh, revenue by event type, Weddings, total revenue, 37,000. Corporate events, 16,000. So weddings are the most common type of event for pole tents. Corporate events also generate significant revenue. Revenue per tent size. Like it just, it shows all these metrics, right? So it's very cool that you can do this. Anyway, so it doesn't matter what program you're using. I use Bookable. I can get the metrics off of Bookable. You can get the metrics from your invoice. All you do is screenshot those, plug it into JetGPT, and uh, just get it to crunch those numbers from the screenshots that you took to get the metrics that you're looking for to build you some data sets uh, so that you can know what's renting for your company. You don't have to rely specifically on your software for whatever metrics that they produce. You can get ChatGPT to make custom graphs for you and you can figure out your business specifically from the numbers that you grab from your software. I use Bookable, you should too, uh, but you know, that's just, what I've got for you today. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. I hope you enjoyed this vlog about the five pole tents we did this season. And if you like this, press that like button. It shows me that I like this. Maybe we'll do one about marquee tents. I don't know. It seemed fun for me. Hopefully it was as fun for you too. Uh, I don't always like showing all these numbers because if my competitors, whatever, you see it here and uh, someone's got to do it. So I think I'll, I'd like to be that guy. Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you liked this video. And as always, you stay classy. We'll see you on the next one.